Well, they have much more power than most people would like to think. Uh, when we think of the media in this country, the problem is uh, that they have a sense of self-righteousness, uh, a double standard on issue after issue after issue. Uh, they can find everything wrong with somebody else, but they will not look inside and ever admit that they could be wrong themselves. And what was involved here in the Watergate thing was the unfairness of it. Oh, there was a legitimate thing to investigate, but they refused to balance it. Uh, they allowed their advocacy to get ahead of their reporting, which is their job to do. Uh, you know, President Eisenhower, in his farewell address, uh, wrote about and warned against the power of the uh, military-industrial complex. Uh, I didn't get a chance to make a farewell address, but uh, when I get old enough and decide to retire, and I'm not planning it at the moment, but when I get that old, uh, if I make a farewell address, I think I would warn against the media elitist complex. You know, the media is always talking about uh, the imperial presidency, the power of the imperial presidency. I think we ought to hear a little bit of discussion of the imperial media and its power. You see, presidential power is limited, limited by the courts, limited by the Congress. The media's power is unlimited. And some would say, but what about libel suits? Forget it. Uh, after the Supreme Court's decision in Sullivan versus New York Times a few years ago, a public figure cannot collect in a libel suit against newspaper or television unless he can prove malice. And there's no way uh, that that's going to be possible. As far as the media is concerned, uh, all we can hope from them, if they're going to be responsible, is self-analysis, uh, self-criticism. And, and some of them are trying with their ombudsman and the rest. The other thing is competition. But what we see in terms of newspapers across the country is more and more places where there's only one paper. Take Washington, D.C. Since the star uh, left the scene, the Washington Post is the only major newspaper being printed in the most important capital in the world. I wouldn't like to leave the fate of this country to the editors of the Washington Post. Do you think that the uh, First Amendment has been misused or abused by reporters? Oh, no question about it. Uh, it's used basically as a license. Uh, let, let's face it, Sullivan versus New York Times is in effect uh, a license to lie uh, because they can tell an untruth, print an untruth, which some of them consciously do uh, if it's going to sell newspapers or what have you or win a prize. Uh, and then they can always get behind the barrier uh, under that case of saying, well, I didn't intend any malice. I had no malice. Isn't that's a terribly cynical uh, approach, though, to people who are, who are doing their best, who are going to work, who are trying to, maybe trying to sell papers, certainly, but are trying to tell the truth. Uh... Well, let me say, right at the outset of this conversation, I made it clear that I was not speaking personally. Uh, I was not speaking generally. Uh, I'm simply speaking of what I have found to be an unfortunate majority at the present time. I think it could change. There are a lot of very good, responsible reporters, particularly in the writing press. Not yet that much in television, because television is so consumed with ratings and the rest. They'll do almost anything to get a story. Is there any way to, uh, <clears throat> to get some kind of a, a handle on this situation? Should the media be investigated? Should it be controlled? No, I may disagree, for example, with what some president does with his power, but I don't want to abolish the presidency or I don't want to control it. The same is true with the press. I believe in a free press. I do not want government control under any circumstances or government censorship of either radio, television, or newspapers. But I'm simply suggesting here that all of the media should look within themselves. Uh, look through that microscope at themselves. Look in the mirror now and then rather than looking out there to others.